rules of loss of set operations so here we are going to prove the loss of set operations of distributive law number 2 So here the distributive law number 2 states that A intersection of B union C is equals to A intersection B union A intersection C. So under the advanced level, so here we are going to prove this condition this condition that is A intersection of B union C equals to A intersection B union A intersection C under the advanced level. Then now here in order to prove this condition, so here we are going to suppose three sets say A, B and as well as C. Now the distributive law that is number 2 states that a intersection of B union C is equals to A intersection B union A intersection C. We are going to prove this condition by means of the element wise proof. Then now the proof starts. So, in our proof, so we have to prove the condition that is a intersection of B union C is equals to A intersection B union A intersection C, but that too we have to prove this condition by means of the element wise proof. So, here in order to prove this condition that is A intersection of B, inter B union C equals to A intersection B union A intersection C. So, here we have to prove first of all the two conditions that as one as left hand side as the subset of the right hand side and in the second condition as the right hand side as the subset of the second left hand side. Then now here in order to prove the condition which is given as a intersection of B union C is equals to A intersection B union A intersection C. So, first of all we have to prove two conditions. So, here those two conditions are of one is the first one as A intersection of B union C must be the subset to A intersection B union A intersection C and the second case as the right hand side must be the subset of the left hand side that is A intersection B union A intersection C must be the subset to A intersection of B union C. Now out of these two, so I want to prove the first case that is case number 1. So, in our case number 1 I am going to prove A intersection as a intersection of B union C as the subset of A intersection B union A intersection C, but here I am going to prove this condition by means of the element wise proof. So, I have to suppose one element which belongs to the left hand side. So, here let that element be x which belongs to A intersection of B union C, then now that implies. So, x belongs to A intersection of B union C, therefore x belongs to first of all with to A. So, here intersection indicates and. So, here we can denote by means of the symbol inverted V. So, here the note under the note. So, here intersection denotes and. So, we can denote by means of the inverted V. So, here union. So, denote is nothing but R. So, we can denote by means of the V. So, by utilizing these symbols. So, here I am going to write the next logical step that as. So, here x belongs to A and can be written as. So, here and can be written as inverted V and x also belongs to the second set that is x belongs to the bracket which is B union C. Then the next logical step will be of that implies x belongs to A and then now I want to elaborate this condition within the flower brackets that is x belongs to B union C can be written as x belongs to B union can be written as or then x belongs to even C also bracket close then now the next logical step will be of that implies. So, here I am going to apply one condition. So, that is distributive law. So, here x belongs to A with x belongs to B, then later A with C that is 
a into b plus c can be written as so first of all a with b then later with a with c that is a into b plus a into c so i am applying this rule so based upon this rule so i want to write this logical step as so here a with b first of all x belongs to a within the first floor bracket so x belongs to a and x belongs to b bracket close or just as here plus a into c again so here or within the floor bracket so here x belongs to a and x belongs to c then now the next logical step will be of that implies so here as per the definition of the intersection of two sets i can write it as x belongs to x belongs to a and x belongs to b can be written as x belongs to a instead of and so here and can be written as intersection so here intersection of this second set b or then now x belongs to a and as well as x belongs to c can be written as so here a and can be written as intersection with c then now here i got this logical step by the definition of the intersection of two sets so here we can write it as the by the definition that is by the definition of the intersection of two sets then now the next logical step will be of so that implies x belongs to the first set or x belongs to the second set can be written as x belongs to the first set as a intersection b or can be written as so here or can be written as union then the second set as a intersection c so i got this step by the definition of the union of two sets that is first set as a intersection b and the second set as a intersection c then now here then we have so here lhs is of x belongs to x belongs to a intersection b union c that is lhs implies the rhs as x belongs to a intersection b union a intersection c so it indicates that so x is an element present in lhs that is a intersection of b union c and x also present in the rhs which is a intersection b union a intersection c so from this it is clear that an element is present in lhs and the same element is also the element of this right hand side so here therefore we can write it as left hand side as the subset of the right hand side because the elements which are present in the lhs are also the elements of the rhs therefore lhs will be the subset of rhs so in this manner so we can write it as so here so here therefore we can write it as a intersection of b union c is the subset of a intersection b union a intersection c so in this manner we have proved the first condition and let us consider this as the condition number 1 or the equation number 1 which we got from the case number 1 then now we are going to prove the second case that is case number 2 in our case number 2 we have to prove in a reverse manner that is rhs must be the subset of lhs that is a intersection of b union a intersection of c must be the subset to the lhs that is a intersection of b union c but here we are going to prove prove this condition by means of the element wise so here we have to suppose one element which belongs to the lhs so let that element be x that x belongs to lhs that is a intersection of b so here union a intersection of c then now that implies by its elaboration so x is an element which belongs to the first set union indicates r then x also belongs to the second one so here x belongs to first bracket that is a intersection b then now union indicates r so it can be written as in v then now here x also belongs to a intersection c so either this x belongs to the first set or x belongs to the second set then the next logical step will be of so that implies i want to elaborate the first condition x belongs to a intersection c b as so x belongs to a and indicates the so intersection indicates and which can be inverted which can be denoted by means of inverted v then now x belongs to even b also bracket close then now r written as it is then now x belongs to a intersection c can be written as so here x belongs to first set that is a intersection b indicates and or in other words inverted v then now x belongs to even this second set that is c also bracket close then now whereas the next logical step will be of so when we observe these two brackets x belongs to a and x belongs to a and so in these two brackets so x belongs to a and and x belongs to a and is common so i want to take this as common when x belongs to a and is taken as common then now only this x belongs to b is left over within the bracket then now here in between there is of v that is r is left over then now x belongs to a and is taken outside as common then now only x belongs to c is left over within the second bracket then now as per the next logical step so here x belongs to a and and is written as it is up to this extent whereas the second bracket is written as so here based upon the r mean so here union based upon the union of two sets 
x belongs to b or x belongs to c can be written as x belongs to b or can be written as union of the second set as c so i got this step by the definition of the union of two sets so here the union of two sets instead of x belongs to b or x belongs to c we can write it as x belongs to b union c by the definition of union of two sets then now the next logical step will be of so it implies here it indicates and so x belongs to a and x is also present in and x belongs to even the second bracket that is b union c so by the definition of intersection of and indicates intersection intersection of two sets we can write it as x belongs to first set as a say and indicates intersection of the second set that is b union c so here i got this logical step by means of the same definition but the by the definition of the intersection of two sets i got this logical step so here then we have the lhs is of x belongs to a intersection b union a intersection c so here implies so here rhs is of x belongs to a intersection of b union c then now from this it is clear that x is an element which belongs to the lhs a intersection b union a intersection c then same element x is also present in a intersection of b union c that is x is present in both lhs and as well as rhs therefore lhs must be the subset of the rhs so here from this it is clear that so here therefore we can write it as so here a intersection b union a intersection c is the subset of a intersection of b union c so here let us consider so this has the equation number 2 which we got from second case so here from equation number 2 and as well as 1 so from equations 1 and as well as 2 the first equation is of a intersection b union c is the subset of a intersection b union a intersection c this has the equation number 1 and whereas the second equation is of a intersection b union a intersection c is the subset of a intersection of b union c which is the second equation so here second equation is of so here a intersection b union a intersection c equals to a intersection of b union c and the first equation is of reverse then now here from these two conditions from these two conditions it is clear that lhs A intersection B union C is the subset of RHS. A intersection B union A, A intersection C. Then in the second case, the RHS is the subset of LHS. So here, since LHS is the subset of RHS and vice versa, that is RHS is the subset of LHS. Therefore, LHS and RHS must be equal. So here, therefore, so here, A intersection of B union C is equals to A intersection B union A intersection C. So in this manner, we have proved the second law of the distributive. So here, the second law. Or the distributive states that a intersection of b union c is equal to a intersection b union a intersection c. That is, intersection is distributing over the union. 